In this question, we're going to be looking at some applications of the fundamental theorem of calculus combined with the chain rule. So we're looking to find the derivatives of the following functions of x. First of all, f of x equals the integral from 0 to x of sine t squared dt. And here's how we take the derivative. It's a very simple application of the fundamental theorem of calculus. So f prime of x is, well, we have the integral from some constant to x of some function. So the first fundamental theorem of calculus tells us that that's just the function evaluated at x, so sine of x squared. That's by the first fundamental theorem of calculus. All right, let's have a look at this second question, which concerns this function g of x, a little bit more complicated, the integral from 0 to x cubed of sine of t squared dt. So we'll note that g of x is equal to f of x cubed, because it's just what we get when we replace the x here with an x cubed. So by the chain rule, we can calculate that g prime of x equals f prime of x cubed times the derivative of x cubed, which is 3x squared. OK, so that is, well, we'll bring the 3x squared to the front. And the derivative of f we've already calculated. It's just sine of x squared. So we're getting sine of x cubed all squared. We replace the x with the x cubed. And this simplifies to 3x squared times sine of x to the 6. For part c, we have h of x equals the integral from x cubed to 1 of sine t squared dt. So we note that h of x can be rewritten as minus the integral from 1 to x cubed of sine t squared dt. So we're very much in the same kind of situation as we were with g of x. There's a little bit of a difference because the bottom constant here is 1 instead of 0, but that doesn't matter at all. So we can conclude that h prime of x will be, well, there's going to be a minus sign, and then it's essentially the same thing as before. We get a 3x squared times sine of x to the 6. Finally, putting things together, this more complicated example, where we have k of x is the integral from x to x cubed of sine t squared dt, and we're asked to find the derivative of k of x. All right, so k of x can be rewritten by replacing it with essentially two kinds of integrals that look like this. So we'll write it as the integral from 0 to x cubed of sine t squared dt, and then minus the integral from 0 to x of sine t squared dt. All right, so the derivative of this is just really repetition of the two kinds of things we've already done. So we get k prime of x equals the derivative of this. It's exactly this kind of thing. It was 3x squared times sine of x cubed squared, or x to the sixth. And the derivative of this one is what we did in the first part. That's just minus sine of x squared. So that's how we use the chain rule together with the fundamental theorem of calculus to take some derivatives.